Springshore in Queensland Central Highlands. This is cattle country and since the Brigalow developments also broad acre farming. The region has a culture of wild cattlemen and here I meet a bloke who sticks to the old, more polite way of doing things. Uh, I was always interested in trucks and uh, I had a dear old friend that had the transport in Springshore, Colin Nixon, and I used to travel a lot with him and work with him a lot. And then when we sold the property out west, um, went into transport here and, and drought times, and we supplied all the hay uh, for a lot of cattle and properties. And we went from there and the business just grew. And then I had an R700 and I sold it and bought the Sal Warrior. And I never got out of it. I don't go good out of the driver's seat, I only put the straps on the hay for the first three years. And uh, yeah, the Warrior made me, I reckon. We went out to a place called Welcome and laid us three decks of bullocks for us to go across the Billowella Meatworks uh, for another really good client of mine. And um, yeah, they've, they've been clients of mine for 15 years. And um, yeah, went across there last night. And Those creeks are running clear, they must have been running for a while this year. Yeah, they run now probably for another three or four years, Bruce. Um, yeah, they, they ran from the 50s right through to 74 in those years, so they'll probably go another four or five years now, crystal clear water. So, um, yeah, Bruce, it, um, it's not far from where we were yesterday, around the Carnarvon National Park, yes. sort of around beyond the range there, yeah. But it's uh, ma certainly a magnificent country, Bruce. You know, it's an excellent season, Bruce. It's probably the best season since 1950. In 56, it's a 59. And um, all the country south of Springshaw, at the Willow and Road, yeah, a lot of farming used to be, and, but it's magnificent country. And right up there to where we, the foot of the Carnarvon Range, where we picked the cattle up. Magnificent country, Bruce, for cattle. Twenty years ago, Bruce, we wouldn't have went along in a single trailer. Uh, we're the Sandkin Spewy country, but yeah, the gravel over the years, yeah, they, they've, they've come a long way, Bruce. We knock them occasionally, but they've come a long way. Um, we wouldn't have got there yesterday, only for the road conditions that the gravel they put on it and looked after them. So um, they spent a lot of money. Uh, they got flood money since the since the 2008 flood. So yeah, they put them to good use. trucks have a tendency to carry water with them over these creek crossings and this water drops on the unsealed surface on the climb out of the creeks and can cause a loss of traction. So Jim has to run the creeks at a speed to carry the truck up the other side. Uh, thing, things have changed haven't they? They have changed a lot Bruce, you know you go back 20 years ago most places that drove a truck could fix them and today most of them they, they, got, they live on warranty. It's probably a good way to go Bruce, I don't know, sometimes I think I should do the same. But yeah, no, it's definitely changed, Bruce. Um, they, they just, everything's in a hurry now, Bruce. You, you don't pull up and have a drink of coffee on the side of the road with a mate anymore. I just, uh, roadhouse talk now. We lost something? Yeah, we have, Bruce. Yeah, we, we definitely have lost something. Um, they're the genuine bloke that, was, that made the transport industry. Uh, they were just, yeah, unreal, some of them fellas.
back on sealed roads, the old warrior is on its way. The 500 horsepower of the tank engine is working well in the rough conditions of central Queensland. Well, uh, I had a 400 in it, Bruce, and it was getting a bit sad, so uh, I got on to Sam down at Gleeman's, and um, they imported some out of um, army tanks in America, the 500s, so um, um, they, they, I got bought one off, off Gleeman, uh, a tank engine, and fitted it in, and it's going really good. So how long you had it in there now? Uh, just on th uh, three years, Bruce. All oh, right. Yeah. And it's, it's going, going well? Going really well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they've done a good job with it. And, um, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's got, seems to have, you know, plenty of horsepower and everything. Yeah, and it's really good, Bruce. Put it in yourself? Tell put it in ourselves, Barney what, what, and I. What, when, what was there any issues in getting it to fit? No, not really. We just had to change the stuff from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, the fuel pillars and that sort of thing. Yeah. So that was the only thing we had to do, and uh, change the, gear, the dipstick and a few other odds and ends that was on the wrong side, and, and it fitted in quite good. So I'm really happy with it, Bruce. And same transmission as before? Same transmission as before, 18 speed, yeah. and bowler stayed on, so it was really good. And did you have to change the firewall? Or no, what? no, no. We just took a uh, chance to patch it up while the engine was out of it, and done anything like that that needed to be done, and uh, yeah, no, really happy with it. And then young Barney came into the business with us, and yeah, big help Barney was. So, so this superliner here, it's it's, it's, it's superliner. It made us. Yeah. Um, I bought it for thirty-five thousand dollars, Bruce. <laughs> so I owned it from day one, just about. And um, yeah, I had one one Almagro trailer, and then I bought a dog trailer, and now we've got seven flat trailers and three dollies and a Titan and depot in Bark Alden and the big sheds here and yeah, yeah. it's been a good business to us. Yeah. We worked hard but it's paid off. So it's hay, but, hay, it's all, hay it's, and cattle? Yeah we can't appear cattle Bruce, yeah, just for our pet clients. Uh, we don't go looking for cattle work but uh, we're busy just about all year round with hay now Bruce. Yeah. We cart it when it's raining, when it's dry, it's yeah. been a good business to us. And uh, yeah, I'm lucky to have young Barney, and he's got the big Titan. Uh, and um, yeah, just, just, just since the run, we've been busy carting cattle. Where the clients want to shift some while it's a bit dry. Yeah. So um, yeah, we'll be back into the hay today, Bruce. Yeah. over to um, Mara and I've got a, a, a grower there that grows a lot of hay for me that will load 80 round bales and I'll come back and take it over to a bloke at Blackwater to feed his weaners Bruce. <coughs> He's weaning at the moment and then I'll go back tomorrow to Billa Wheeler and load a road train of hay to come home into the depot of square bales and round bales Bruce.
fully loaded with round bales of prime hay from Mara, the old warrior heads back out onto the road. After a late lunch at the Bohinia Roadhouse, we set off into the setting sun. But then, trouble. The old warrior loses power, all power in fact, and will only run at an idle. Sounds like something has come adrift in the throttle linkages between the accelerator and the pump. It's time for Jim Hare to put into action his bush mechanic and skills. Broke the, broke the linkage here, Bruce, on the um, tip that pulled the accelerator back from the forge. So I've, I've prized that apart, got the broken part out, and I've got a, a screw here with a head on it about the same. So I've fitted it to it, and we'll put it back on, and it should be right. We'll be a go again, Bruce. Yeah, good life first, yeah, no, I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, yeah, was the old warrior. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll probably drive it the rest of my life. My young fella reckons he's going to bury me in it, he's not going to buy a coffin. <laughs> the old warrior. So, yeah, no, it's been a really good truck to me, Bruce. <laughs>